Wow. Why do that? <laughs> really? You have to do that? What? I have to do what? I don't know. You got to put the word anus right in your well, medication. So people won't brush with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Even even with the name anus in the name of the product. Well, what's the stuff yeah. you put on your what's the stuff you put on your toothache? Ambisol. All right. <laughs> so that doesn't go in your abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> so I put a little anus <laughs> put a little anus sauce in the mouth. That's fine. <laughs> toothache went away. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I put some crest up my ass and went to bed. <laughs> Oh my God! No, I I uh, I had I've never had a hemorrhoid. I did have my jackass friend Ray talk me into having a hemorrhoid. Oh, once. that was your that was your carbuncle. that was my carbuncle. Yeah, and he was like, "You better uh, you better get some anus salt. <laughs> you better you better get some preparation age." And I remember at the time. And by the way, here's how you know you're a loser. You're um, thirty. Yes, I am thirty at the time. Oh. I, I remember where I was, and I remember the celebration I had. Jimmy and I went out and ate Mexican. We ate like forty oh, pounds of Mexican that's food. A good thing that's the no, that's after. That was in celebration. <laughs> da, 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 For releasing the carbuncle. That's oh, right. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. triumphal. Yes. My my buddy, the hat dance. My buddy Ray had me convinced it was a, ham, a hemorrhoid, yeah. and really what it was is a giant zit. Yeah. And so his first it's thing, a huge abscess. It's a perirectal abscess. Really, it's bad times. Is yeah, what it is. It is exquisite pain. Yeah. You're talking to a guy. Look, I've had my shoulder dislocated. On a football field, it's about the same pain, except for people are laughing. And Ray, Ray, Ray first says, "You got to push it back up there with your finger." Oh. So I'm like, "All right, let me." Ah! <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's crazy, nutty pain. Yeah, people don't realize it. And when that area gets irritated, you don't realize you're winking uh, every time you breathe. You, you don't. Your, your you, anus yeah, winks no, it's a lot. That, it's like it's that way. Like when you crack a rib, you don't understand. You know how you don't you know how often you cough or right, sneeze or, or, or laugh yeah, or whatever. Right. Your your anus is connected uh, to everything. You don't raise your. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get my f out of there, would you, Anderson? <laughs> Obviously, I got angry about oh, it. Oh, you don't raise your eyelids. I didn't get the whole F word out, yeah, but at the point is, I'm a man of passion. <laughs> about your anus. That's, you, you, that's do not, your passion you do not emerges. raise an eyelid without yeah. feeling some stress down there. Yeah, some winking. So uh, I tried to push it in. It didn't work. So he said, <laughs> go get some preparation age. I went to the mark. It was like 685. Could you, could you walk? Could you walk at that point? I used, uh, I used a Lark, one of those you know, electric yeah, yeah, wheelchairs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're standing up because you couldn't sit I was sit carried down. to the market, and then once I got in, I used a motorized one. Yeah, uh, yeah because it would scrape the other cheek right. when I swung. It was brutal. <laughs> and so I, I got the uh, I got the, the preparation age, and I remember, like like I said, here's how you know you're a loser. You're, you're 30 years old. You're, your ass felt like uh, it's been shot with a musket ball, and you're looking at something, and you're going, <sighs> Wow, it's almost $6. Yeah. Hmm. Does it come in a smaller size? Like, is there some sort of vending machine that has preparation age where I just get a little handful before I leave? I put, I'll put, bring like a, a wet nap and uh. into it, and I'll just carry it home in my hand. Because I don't need a whole tube. Yeah. Wow. Or maybe I can buddy up with someone. Anyone else buying uh, <laughs> preparation age? How about we go in the parking lot? Just give me a little. Yeah, just give me a little rope. Squirt. Give me a little rope. What's that? Eighty cents. Just give me a nice little rope. Not less, buddy. I'm not going to rub it on your ass. It's, it's, I'm legit. Just give me a little rope of that stuff. What do you say? I'm just saying, wow. four dollars. You know, yeah. I'm gonna have to think about. It. So anyway, now I'm rubbing the preparation H on my carbuncle for uh, three days, and I'm in a exquisite, exquisite pain. Yeah, exquisite pain. It's not then, going away. Then you went into operation mode, and that's Surgery. when I said uh, it was like a raid on Entebbe. I said we're going in. We don't negotiate anymore. Then you were Thomas Edison. We're going in mirrors and lighting surfaces. Well, it is hard to find that part of your body with your eye. <laughs> your eye can't find that part of your body. You know what I mean? Right. Your face can't find right. it. Right. I didn't have a doctor. I didn't right. know anybody. And here's the other thing, too. Oh, you're, you're let Ray do it? Piss poor right. and you have no, no insurance or anything. You may know somebody like knows a doctor, but they're like a friend. So it's like, and it's a chick. Yeah. You know what it was? It was uh, Mary Coffee. Oh, yeah. Well, she would have been good. Yeah, but this is a, this is this She's dude. She's an ER doctor, though. This She's is good. dude I knows old lady gonna be spread my cheeks. Uh, she does stuff like that all day. I worked I, with her for years. I've been out to dinner and stuff with her. It's, it's weird. Come on, it's relax. weird. No, I wasn't gonna get into that with her. So that's the only person I knew. By so, the way, she would not have done to you what you did to yourself. Well, I'll tell you what I did. So I got <laughs> I had a full length mirror, and uh, 
I got my pants down and uh, I got myself positioned, but I couldn't I couldn't see it. So I took a flashlight and I bounced it off the mirror and bounced it uh, into the Tukai area, <laughs> and that's when I saw the culprit. And as was I was it peaking, it it was and it was it had, you know a little snow cap on. It looked like the Matterhorn. And uh, right as I uh, Helens. right as I started, it was smoldering. Yeah, <laughs> and right as I started to, uh, I had a bunch of reporters set up on my balls. <laughs> they thought they're out of harm's way. Satellite truck. So uh, right as I started to go for it, it just blew. Oh, just, it, you it just blew. You, you didn't even no, do anything. No, I, didn't, I, w I was I was getting ready to do some piercing and some prodding and but stuff. Just from my, all the, gr the my grunting idiot and groaning. Buddy, and... right, convinced me it was a uh, Roy. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. didn't know what to do, yeah. and I was checking it out, and I was I was bouncing the flashlight off the mirror. You know that that's how the uh, Egyptians. That's how they theorized oh, the Egyptians got light into the pyramids. Light into the pyramids. Yeah. Same way. That's right. Two thousand years later, that's huh? Right. You figured Come on, it out buddy. Spontaneously. That's right. And what happened? And it blew, and it it blew, and it was just like, and then it looked like the end of a gay porn film. It's like, oh my god, it's like someone just finished on me. It was horrible. I was, and then and then, and I was like, oh, and I and I stood up, and it was like that scene from Tommy. Where, uh, where, uh, where a Roger Daltrey can see again. Yes. Like, I'm free. Yes. Started playing. I'm like running <laughs> down the street. Cut to me on the mountaintop doing this. Cut to me on an amusement park roller coaster. Right. Cut to me rolling on the beach with yeah. a beautiful woman making out, hitting a grand slam. Did you, you have know? to work any more out of there? No, it was, just, it was just, I was just running around. It was and, just done. Uh, I'd been hobbled for like four or five excru excruciating days. Oh. And I mean, I got on the phone uh, with uh, Jimmy. And I was like, we're, we're going Mexican. to El Torio. We're going, we're doing Mexican. <laughs> and we went out someplace in Glendale. I had a coupon. And we ate like uh, 70 pounds of Mexican food. That's good. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right. And uh, it's, not, uh, it's not reared its ugly head yet. No. But don't worry, Drew. If it does, again. Oh, I know you come calling. That's right. All right. Can't we'll wait. take. Uh, Take a little break. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. We'll be right back after this.